Finally, we've arrived at where the, the whole scooter ADV craze started, at Honda. And uh, one of its latest ADV offerings, presented last year, the ADV 350, which is basically the basis, it's the Honda Forts of 350, but with a bit of a taller suspension, knobbly tires, and a design that is reminiscent of the XADV 750, which is based on the Forza 750, of course. Now, in terms of equipment, let's start from the front. We do have an upside down fork. We have a 15 inch front wheel, full array of LED lights, a tall enough windscreen that's also manually adjustable for height. We have hand guards, Honda's keyless system. Let's bring it to life. A digital display, pretty small, but it shows just about everything you need. You have full controls, nothing too special about the controls. Under seat storage is actually quite decent for the class of scooter. We have a cubby hole here for your first aid kit. We have a compart uh, something to co make to compartmentalize the under seat storage, separate your things. Factory fitted top case. This would be a very nice uh, touring option, to be honest. Uh, we do have Showa rear suspension, extremely long travel suspension with remote reservoir shocks. Uh, the engine is the Honda 350cc engine with about 30 horsepower and about 32 newton meters of torque. What else do we have? Our fuel filler is right here. Let's see if we can get it to open. Yep, there it is right over there. We should have a couple of cubby holes. Yes, one is here and that's it. That's the only one. You do get a nice view looking from up top. You do get a nice view of the fork and it's not a regular scooter fork. It does have a triple tree. So it's a show front fork with a complete triple tree. Now let's get on the thing. Now, riding position. You do have space to stretch your legs right up front. It is pretty comfortable, the seat is nice and wide, it's nicely padded. The handlebars are nice and high and meet, uh, meet your arms very nicely. The wing mirrors are a bit... They're good. They're good, but they're nothing to write home about. They look a little cheap, to be honest. The windscreen is nice and high, this is your view as a rider. Quite a nice machine, and like I said, in terms of legroom, you have easily many positions to keep your legs it's all comfortable it's all good i am really curious to see this thing out on the road i'm gonna try to get my hands on one and uh, do a test ride as soon as possible but yeah that's a quick look at the 2023 honda adv 350 and hopefully we'll get to see it on the channel on the road on a full review thank you all for watching and i'll catch you in the next one